Do you have any friends who are international students? Um, I do have a few from the like tutoring lab, but I don't necessarily like, hang out with them outside of the lab. Currently, not really. Um, I don't really. I kind of hang out with like the same group of people all the time. Um, I didn't really before this quarter. The number of international student friends that I have um, mm -hmm. far outnumbers the number of uh, American uh, friends that I have. Really? Definitely so? here in Athens, <laughs> yes. This is kind of unexpected for me, but good. Why did you choose to make friends with international students? Why did I choose? Why? Well, I, I, it's not like I decided, oh, I need some international friends. Mm -hmm. I just, um, you know, I'm in the linguistics department here, and mm -hmm. it is probably a bit more diverse than some of the other departments on campus. Mm -hmm. So of course I become friends with the people that uh, surround me. I don't know, I'm not really the most socially outgoing person, so meeting new people is kind of a challenge or awkward for me. So I um, tend to meet my friends through my other friends. So I'll meet someone who is friends with someone I'm already friends with. Okay, that yeah, makes it makes I, sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually go up to like a stranger and just say, oh, hey, let's be friends. Most of the time when American students become friends with international students, it's usually through some sort of um, group or club. Um, I know that I joined International Business Society one quarter and I met a ton of international students that I would have never ended up becoming friends with otherwise. I remember with my conversation partner for freshman year, um, he loved basketball and talked about it all the time. I don't really know much about basketball, I don't talk about it, but if I had, that would be something we would have had in common, and I'm sure we would have, like, it would have been, like, something we share. Absolutely, there are challenges. There are cultural differences, of course, and if a culture is new to you, you certainly aren't going to be aware of everything. A lot of American students are very outgoing, and maybe students from other countries aren't as outgoing and maybe are intimidated. Some of my friends have had some, like, culture clashes, but nothing too terrible. I live with an Indian, and he is a very, very good friend of mine, and he has been since we met. But there have been many times, especially in the beginning, where we didn't always agree, where I wasn't quite sure what he was doing or what he expected from a situation. Um, and so we would have to sit down and say, you know, these are the differences between our culture. And I'm not talking about anything, you know, life-changing or, you know, mm -hmm. something detrimental. Something just as simple as um, putting dirty dishes on the floor. You know, I don't, you know, something like that. Or um, keeping doors open and doors closed. Things mm -hmm. like that. Um, just these subtle little simple things that you might think, uh, oh, this person, you know, how can they not understand why I would want to have the door closed? But then you have to think, can they really understand why I want to have the door closed when I'm not really understanding why they want to have it open? In the United States, we're, I don't know, practically, um, well, we're not monolingual, obviously, but we don't really have a lot of border, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so there are a lot of places in the United States where English is the only language spoken, and like, I think people would, um, people could go their entire lives without meeting a speaker of another language. It's hard to make friends with someone who doesn't speak the same language as you. Um, but even so, I mean, you don't have to speak exactly the same language. There can be rough translations, and you can still see eye to eye on certain things, and you can still enjoy the same activities. So um, it's just kind of hard to look past language. I mean, I've heard some students, they complain, um, for instance, like, people always complain about uh, math teachers who don't speak English very well, it's hard to understand. Um, or, well, I guess that's really the biggest one I've ever heard, TAs. Um, but, like, personally, that's never bothered me, um, because usually with an accent like that, you kind of get used to it. Or, mm -hmm. and at the very least, it's, I don't know, something new, it's because we're not all the same people it's I like it I would love to have like more international friends I think it's really cool to learn about the different ways like people um, like interact with others and how they like where they grow up and the differences like between in America and other places you know the international students have already made a step in coming here so I think that as American students 
at an American university, people should take more initiative in becoming friends with students from other countries. I think being in like kind of, I know if I were to ever go to another country and not completely know the language, um, like fully not a native speaker, I would hope that people would reach out to me because you're in a new situation, a new surrounding. It can be really frightening, I'm sure. Making friends with an international student is the equivalent of making friends with like a stranger. Like it's just, I mean, I don't know that person, I don't know that person. I, they're equal way, but it's still kind of hard to just go up to a person and you need like almost, um, what do you call that, a reason or like a pre-given, pre, a pre -given, an excuse mm -hmm. almost, yeah. Um, so I suppose whoever wants it more should put more effort in, mm -hmm. but at the same time I feel like students should be accommodating to international students. Um, be willing to, if not at least meet them halfway, go, like, be the instigator. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for the interview. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you.